Welcome back. The World Health Organization and Nanyang Technological University are working together to look for faster, more cost-effective and reliable ways to assess food safety risks. And the goal is to arrive at a globally recognized assessment framework for novel foods like lab-grown meat and synthetic ingredients. Part of this joint project will also see Singapore scientists using technology such as AI and the so-called organ on a chip that can simulate the potential harmful effects of food on actual human cells and organs. Such methods can cut time needed for food risk assessment to three or four months from the current two to three years. And these will also drastically remove the need for animal testing, saving costs by up to 90% of the millions of dollars right now. The WHO and NTU will also set up the world's first center on food safety and nutrition, which will offer courses on such new approaches over the next two years. And here in the studio with me, Dr. Moez Sana, Head of Standards and Scientific Advice at the Department of Nutrition and Food Safety at the World Health Organization, along with Professor William Chen, Director of the Singapore Agri-Food Innovation Lab. Now, he is also Director of the Food Science and Technology Program at NTU Singapore. Uh, gentlemen, welcome, Dr. Sana. First to you. Um, look, Singapore is not a major food producer. We don't export a huge amount. Why then is Singapore inserting itself into this space to develop new methodologies for food standard safety here? Uh, what's the value proposition? Yeah, yeah good evening. Yeah, you are right. Mm. Singapore is not a major exporter, mm. but uh, the strength of Singapore is uh, about the excellence in science, okay. innovation, and that make Singapore as a global innovation hub. So what uh, makes Singapore interesting here? Uh, science, ambition, uh, will help Singapore to, uh, to, to join this global effort. And uh, uh, this global effort is mainly to, for the food security issue. We need to have novel foods, but novel foods will come with new problem. Mm. And there's new problem. We need to solve them with science. New food, that means new exposure. Yeah. Uh, we don't have uh, the historical consumption of such food. We are eating potatoes, tomatoes <laughs> for uh, several years ago. Right. But it, we are completely new foods. And so, we want to have new food, yeah, right? We need them. Safe. We, we, we need them safe, yeah. tasty. Yeah. They need to be tasty, nutritious and safe. Right. And so this process will help, I, I suppose, um, um, speed that process along in, in a safe way. But I want to ask you also about the collaboration between WHO and NTU. Um, how much talent are we hoping to develop in Singapore to meet the needs of this new sector? And, and how will this yeah. sector help? So uh, WHO as a global organization, we are looking beyond Singapore. So mm. we, our collaboration with uh, Singapore will, will be beneficial for Singapore itself, but we are creating a hub for capacity building for the regions and globally. Mm. So this center will be used for training new scientists, mm. uh, training uh, new scientists for developing new food, but new scientists on how to evaluate, evaluate the safety of those new foods. Yeah, and the courses uh, that you offer as well in, in the schools at, at, at the, down the road, right? Yeah. Um, so Prof Chen, you know, I'll bring you in here on the need for animal-free me uh, methodologies in the context of food safety. Um, look, uh, they're expensive. They take a long time. Uh, they're cruel. So uh, it seems a next step, and an obvious next step to what you're doing. Yeah, uh, thank you for having us on the program first. Uh, well, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. uh, animal testing is, uh, have all these uh, um, not-so-good side. Mm -hmm. Uh, but with, with the very fast changing pace of this uh, novel food development, we need also to have a faster way yeah. of uh, evaluating yeah. the, the potential risk. Therefore, uh, we are uh, developing this uh, in vitro testing method uh. technology platform that uh, meet this uh, requirement, which is faster, more cost effective, and uh, uh, give us a valuable insight on how safe and, uh, and uh, of this uh, new product. So, give me an example. Uh, for example, uh, traditionally, uh, when people test uh, chemicals, contaminants in the food, for example, pesticide, mm. then they will either use animal, mm -hmm. they can also use uh, these uh, numbs. Uh, but 
when we talk about urban solution, we talk about ways to produce uh, cultivated meat, for example, yeah. or sometimes a mushroom cultivation. And in order to reduce the uh, cost of operation, people replace the cultural medium with all different, uh, uh, different ingredients. Uh. But this will eventually affect the, the, the uh, uh, end product. So we, our system would not only test the safety aspect of this new ingredient, but also test the final product because being right. no, food being novel, meaning that they have not been consumed by by general population for the past 20 over years. So uh, our system also allowed the testing of this potential uh, risk for consumers because uh, food are not like chemicals or drugs. Yes. They go through digestive system. So we, our system has this built-in aspect of a digestion system, which allowed the analysis of food after digestion. So it's a comprehensive oh. integrated platform. Right. Okay. So it's uh, it's it's like you said, very holistic, very comprehensive. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sana, you know the fact is that different countries have different standards uh, when mm -hmm. it comes to the safety of the the foods uh, imported. How far would uh, NAMS go to ensure this stronger supply chains, uh, global cooperation on deciding yeah. what the safety standard is, and not just what it is, but implementing it uh, yeah. across the so, board? The, the solution is uh, to base our standard on the good science. Mm. So we start by developing the good science. It, NAMS is a good opportunity that we harmonize the way we are evaluating everywhere. Uh, you tell me what NAMS is again. If you NAMS, yeah, mean... a new approach methodology. Okay. Uh, the, the, in general, we said we are not using animal testing, but new. it's more sophisticated. There's a lot of tools that, are, uh, that can be used. But starting with those uh, new approach, we can start to harmonize with different countries. And what is interesting now, uh, uh, and the WSU and FAU as, as well, we, are, we have this uh, joint program called Codex Alimentarius. This Codex Alimentarius is international food standard. Ah. So country, they can rely on international food standard. They can adapt them directly or they can adapt them if there is some specific needs. So using this uh, harmonized approach will help us to produce more international food standard mm. and those for the international food standard they have two functions mm. facilitate the trades and protect the consumer mm. so we are not relying on country level uh, uh, country level standard that can be seen as a barrier for exporting or importing mm. so so if we have the same standard it will facilitate the trade. So one company is sitting in Singapore or other part of the year of the of the uh, of the world, they don't need to say, if I export to country A, yeah. I need to go to one standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Country B, I need to re rely on other standards. So we okay. harmonize the way. All right. Uh, so it become more predictable to all the companies when they are producing food in what part of the uh, of the world, mm. they can export everywhere. Okay, so it's, it's all singing from the same, same song sheet, so to speak. Uh, and Prof Chen, the last question to you is, you know, this is one example of a collaboration that holds us to very high global standards. Uh, what do you expect from the next three years? Uh, how do you, where do you expect this collaboration to go, perhaps others? Well, we see this, uh, this is a, a very important step towards working together from within Singapore. NAMS uh, can be developed by various uh, players in the ecosystem. Uh, so we are using this as an uh, anchor point to mm. put all the expertise together to develop these NAMS. And globally, mm -hmm. uh, our partnership with WHO will serve as a, a very important uh, platform to, for the adoption of uh, NAMS and standardization, harmonization of these uh, NAMS technology to countries beyond Singapore. All right, I look forward to safer and more interesting and delicious food. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in today. I've been speaking with Dr. Moez Sana from the World Health Organization as well as Professor William Chen from NTU Singapore.